Tonight, San Francisco's Reparations Committee is meeting, but there is growing concern that after months and months of work that all of their efforts might be in jeopardy. The mayor's office confirmed to us tonight that they won't put forward $4 million in funding over two fiscal years for an office of reparations. Jose Martinez spoke to advocates who feel they're just getting the runaround. There's definitely a growing frustration within San Francisco's African-American community regarding reparations, even after today's meeting here at City Hall. Mix them up? Yeah, mix them up. Oh, okay. I caught you here. Last time I was here, you blowed that truck out. Oh, oh, yeah. It was like, Marquise uh, Mohammad, like many others, is a closely following the progress of African-American reparations in San Francisco. I'm a victim. So you see me out here with my products right here on Fillmore. I do this every day. I've been here since 1999. My customer base has moved out of the city. We visited him today at his business in the Fillmore district where he's been selling all kinds of products since 1999. He tells me he's not happy with how the reparations process is going, especially after Mayor London Breed said it's an issue that should be addressed on the federal level no locally. I agree with that part. It is a national issue, of course. However, why would you have a committee, Ms. Breed, that you authorize, that you sanction to look at and make the uh, suggestions, but now when it comes to implementing these, I think it was 100 and over 100 and something suggestions, oh no, we're not going to do it because of a budget constraints. Okay. With the city facing a mountain deficit, the mayor recently approved cutting all $4 million earmarked to launch a reparations office as part of a broader $75 million spending cut. In a statement, the city said, the mayor does not believe we need a new bureaucracy to implement programs to benefit the African-American community. We are already doing that work through the Dreamkeeper Initiative, which has used our existing department structure, but has also hired new employees within those departments to implement these programs. Opening a separate office is not an efficient use of funds. We should be focusing our efforts on programs that impact the community. People showed up at Monday's Reparations Advisory Committee meeting at City Hall to voice their concerns. But Supervisor Shimon Walton told us via email that he's hopeful that the Office of Reparations could become a reality once the city can fix the deficit. He said, in part, I understand the importance of no cuts to existing programs, but the black community will continue to pursue justice and equity through reparations here in San Francisco. But Marquise tells me he feels disappointed over the entire issue. Once again, is this by design? You tell me. You tell me. So I love my mayor. I'm not against my mayor. But we as in the African uh, American uh, <clears throat> districts, we cannot give black people a pass because they're black. You know, we did that with Obama. We didn't have to have them account for anything, you know? So it doesn't matter the color. What are you doing for reparations? What's, where's, where, where is the, uh, I hate to be long-winded, but where is the, you know, where is the check? And Marquise tells me he doesn't really think this is going to become a reality, but he hopes the city actually pays more attention to the gentrification problem that's been happening in this community for a long time.